it is match day then. The Nottinghamshire derby, not so as Mansfield. It's going to be a massive game. I cannot wait for it. Uh, I've not felt this way uh, about a game since the playoffs. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing to get down to the lane today. Uh, I've just nipped into town this morning. I've just got here now. Uh, time's about nine o'clock. Uh, just got to pick up a couple of bits from town. Uh, and then I'm going to make my way uh, towards Medellane and probably go for a, a couple of drinks before the game uh, at the navigation. Um, so, yeah, I think it's going to be a difficult game for, for both sides. I'm hoping it's not a nil-nil. I'm hoping it's a, a high-scoring win for Knotts. Um, but we'll see how the game goes. Now, look what I bumped into. Hey, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Just been into town. I ended up walking in from town. I was going to drive in. Back home. It's probably going to be too busy. But I'm sure, as you can hear, in the now, it's electric and ready. It's, it's 10 past 11. It's been busy since about 10 o'clock, I reckon. It's really, really good. I'm buzzing, buzzing. What's for there going into the game? I'm nervous. I feel like it's a playoff game for some reason. Yeah, I'm yeah, really, I feel like that. Very nervous. Uh, I reckon it'll be low scoring. I know we've seen loads of goals lately, but I reckon it'll be a 2-1 nuts. 2-1 nuts. Mm. Nice. I've been a little bummed into Tom. Uh, should turn up the cards. Uh, he's got it just the team who's come out. Wow, yeah, wow. No Cameron, no Cameron even on the bench. I'm very surprised by that. Obviously, we'll keep it quiet if your captain's not fit. But that, to me... Slow coming goal as well, that's... Yeah. Wow. Very, very, very interesting. I, I, I thought we were made pretty much unchanged. The bench worries me a bit. The back three, what we've got, Baldwin, Rawlinson, Brindley. It'll be interesting to see how we fear, I think, at the back. Obviously, slow coming as well. If it will disrupt the play a little bit, maybe. Um, but yeah, the, the forwards are pretty much as you'd expect in the midfield. It's just the defence really, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, it's going to be interesting. I'm still confident. I still think we go and get the win. I am just a bit looking at Bench. Where's the game change? We've got Marias, who's still not up to speed yet. He's not played a lot. We've got Gill on there. We've been massive games for him. So Toby's probably our biggest attacker player on the bench. And he's technically a defender, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 13 minutes gone, I can't lie, since the goal, Mansfield have been by far the better team. Their tactic is obvious, they're playing them all over the top, they're trying to catch us out, and it's worked a few times. Um, we need to get a bit of a hold of the game, they haven't really made an effort from it, but there's definitely, if it carries on in this pattern, they're going to they're gonna get chances. Um, we haven't really got going since the goal, but it's very good that we took our first chance of the game. About 16 minutes gone in the game, Mansfield probably just had their best chance of the game. Um, it's put in on Brindley and gone near post, it's hit the post, hit off the back of Slocum and gone out for a corner. Mansfield take that corner and it's cleared well by Didzi. Um Unsettled uh, after the goal really, 
not really struggling to, to maintain possession. Manso are making it really difficult for us. One one, possibly a foul on Bosto, but I'm not sure. It might have been a bit soft. And they pass it across the box. It's been coming. It's one one. Um, yeah, as I say, it's been coming. They've been the better side since we've scored. We've not really created too many chances. 24 minutes into the game, a long way to go. Just over half an hour gone now. Uh, we're struggling. We're really struggling to get a grip with this game. Mansfield are on everything. Um, we seem very loose of possession. Uh, we just literally gave a throw in, had a throw in, we gave it straight to them. And passing just seems a little bit off. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm looking forward to half time. We need to get into half time 1 1 here because we look like we're struggling. We're, we're really, we can't deal with the, the press that Mansfield have got. And we just look a little bit nervous. Um, so, yeah, if we get into to half time at 1 1, I think it'll be a good thing for us. Not much happened really, Manchester haven't had many chances but they are still on top, we, we, we can't spring two passes together, we're giving it away, we're slow, we're labouring, it's, it's a bit of a worrying first half but as George has said, we've got to get to half time, we're 43 minutes in, I desperately want the break. We've got a corner, we've taken it early, just we've taken it, it short, line, yeah, yeah they've just taken off the, cleared it off the line, um, Not probably had the, the, best, the second best chance of the game oh. really, played down to the man down wide, oh. Oh. Course for handball, but I'm not, I'm not sure on that one. Definitely handball. But we seem to have picked up a little bit of momentum just before our time. Uh, there's probably about a minute left. A lot of time. Still got possession. But I'll be honest, after our goal, we struggled a lot this half. I think we just need to get into half time. As much as we're holding the possession out there, half time, there we go. Half time 1 1. I think that's what we needed. We really just needed to get into half time. Half-time thoughts, um, other than the first five, which Knotts obviously scored and came out of blocks really quickly, and the final five where we had it cleared off the line, um, very, very close to being over the line. And Mansfield have been the better side, if I'm honest. I'm not overly impressed with how we've played. It's difficult when you lose someone like Jody Jones and the captain, Carl Cameron. I will say that I think Conor Rawlinson has stepped in pretty well on the attacking side. He's dribbled the ball forward, like Kyle does very, very well. But we've just been very, very sloppy with the ball. Um, we've given it away far too many times. There's not many options for Slocum. Mansfield are pressing very, very well. And will they be able to carry that on in the second half? I'm not 100% sure for the full 90 minutes. But at the minute, yeah, a draw is probably the right result, but they have definitely been the side on top out of both of us. Big, big second half coming in. It's the first time we've played, I feel like we've played a very, very top team. Like, obviously, we've played some good teams, but with Mansfield, Gillingham, Wrexham, all in this three week period, I think as a home game, I want to be coming out of this with at least a point. We've got to try and go for a second half. over five minutes gone in the second half uh, game has been stopped because Bostock has gone down uh, he's having a bit of attention here he's gone down I've just seen uh, Jim take his bib off looks to be uh, like it is an injury and Bostock's coming off at the moment which is gutting I think Bostock is such a is a crucial player uh, for knots so far this season uh, but we'll see how this plays out I'm really hoping it's not a long term injury and he's just picked up a bit of a knot it does look like he's coming back on but Jim's down there, looks like he's ready to come on. Um, maybe for both of <laughs> Maybe, I think we need it. Uh, um, Bostock has gone off, not so burnt himself a free kick. 30, 35 yards out. There's Baldwin, Palmer and Dizzy still over it. It's going to be an unbelievable one from here. And it's rolled straight to the goal and he hits it straight into the wall. 58 on the clock, this horse is really, really slow. Not many chances from either side. But yeah, we've got Jim O'Brien on in, in that midfield. Um, I wonder when we'll see Toby because I think his pace will be something we could utilise, definitely. Just under 70 minutes gone in the game. A throw in is played through to McGoldrick. McGoldrick then plays it through to Naman. Naman has a go on goal, it hits the side netting. It's probably our best chance, really, of the second half. Um, but this game is really going the way Mansfield want it to be, I think, at the moment. Uh, we're really struggling to hold on to possession again. Um, they've got quite a decent chance down here. They've got it wide. Just need to cross it in. It's blocked by Rawlinson, but we just need to get possession and, and play our way. Um, because at the minute, we're really not doing that. Two 
Blue or on a header from a corner, or marked. And as soon as the ball went in, I thought that they're in here for a great opportunity. Um, we've been poor. We've been really poor. We have been really, really below the standards that we set ourselves here. Yeah, yeah two one, 20 minutes to go for a time, probably 25. It's not looking good. <laughs> Mansfield from a corner again. Sloppy, poor. Um, it's just pinging around in the box, and there just doesn't seem to be anyone switched on enough to be in the right position for the second ball. We look, we look a shadow of ourselves. We really do. It's, it's a bit of a shock to the system, really. Um, but I mean, Mansfield have been the better side, so they, they deserve the lead. There's no sugar cane, I'll be positive. This is absolutely awful from Knox. Giving the ball away, giving it to them. They could have just made it 4-1. Uh, 15, I don't know who it is. Then number 15, just put it over the bar. Should they have got it on target? It's been absolutely shocking second half, um, especially in the last 10 minutes. There's more goals than some answer if they want it. Four one, Mansfield, sloppy, so so sloppy. Um, I'm not, sh I'm not sure what more I can say really. Defensively, we look so weak. Mansfield are so easy to get at us. We're so slow onto the second ball. It's inevitable that Mansfield are going to score goals because we've got nothing to offer defensively. We we've been so so off colour today. Uh, I can't really believe what I'm seeing to be honest with you. It's an absolute battery. I think it, I think it uh, We're the passing around in the back like we're winning. Um, doing the step overs, it doesn't make any sense. I know we're not going to come back. We're in the 88th minute, going into the 89th minute. This has been embarrassing. They haven't turned up for a derby. We got a goal in the first few minutes and then just thought we won the game. Um, George said in the last clip he can't believe what he's seeing. I can't. I, I think this has been coming. Poor second half against Forest Green. Incredibly poor against Barrow. This is the first real good team we've played. Like a really good side. We've played some, some good side. This is the first really good side that are going to be close contenders we've played. James has missed one from that three yards out. This has been coming. And Gillingham concerns me and Wrexham concerns me in the next two weeks. Really, really poor. The fact we've only bought, to my knowledge, Toby on the pitch, as I saw, tells you how thin this spot is. It's awful. In the car now, um, trying to get home. It is quite busy, obviously, because of the, the bumper crowd. Massively, massively deflated after that, to be honest. Um, like Tom said, though, you know, we, we have conceded quite a few goals. Uh, in recent weeks and looked uh, quite frail at the back so it does almost feel like it has been coming um, but to sort of lose in the manner that we did today it, it was poor it just felt like nobody showed up um, you know the players that we rely on so heavily I, I think to sort of pull us you know get the game by the just scruff of the net really and, and take it to the team they, they didn't they didn't show up today and they didn't perform uh, defensively just so poor like I've been continuously saying throughout the whole video um, so yeah majorly disappointed um, our rate of performance can't continue it sort of feels like Wes Williams is saying similar things after games where he's saying he's, he's disappointed with the with the performance and stuff like that um, but on a performance basis not a lot is really changing which is is a little bit of a concern what do you think I I don't want to be on the video and say, oh, I told you so, I told you so, because I don't want to be like that. Like, I want to be positive and I want to be upbeat. But I said, going into the first game of the season, on, on whatever paper's perspective it was before Sutton, I said the squad is, is paper thin. We've only got, like, four injuries or five injuries. I'm sure Mansfield had more than that, and they've just turned us over. Mm. Like, a squad with four injuries should definitely be able to cope. And you look, and, and we use we use one force substitution because of an injury to Boston, which I hope is not, not a long-term one, and one substitution that was tactical. And we couldn't really rely on anyone else. You've got Gill on the bench, who's never going to come on in this game. You've got Marais, who I said, he's looking better, but he's not got the match sharpness. I, I think, I'm a, this sounds stupid to say, because right now, before games are kicked off, I think we're top of the league. Maybe Lansford have overtaken us, I don't know. I didn't look at the points, but it seems mad to say, but I'm, I'm concerned about performances because 
we shipped three in against Forest Green, who I think are bottom of the league. Yep. Five against Colchester, who then the next game got beat by Newport. Like defensively, we're all over the place. And another thing that was said on our podcast, and I don't want to be, be too too negative, is I can't believe we looked at the defence we had and thought we'll just loan two players in that can't get anywhere near the side that youth players. I can't believe it because we're all over the place. Really, really disappointed with with that game today, and it makes it all the more embarrassing. It's against Mansfield. You know what? I'm not even going to be on here and say Mansfield were were lucky. They were they were good. They were way better than us. They they out out did it as tactically they out fought as they wanted it more so we go again against Gillingham but the next two Gillingham and Wrexham they're not easy games at all yeah very difficult uh, as much as the result hasn't been there today um, it's just one of those isn't it where we've got to sort of pick up more points now going forward and we've got like Tom just said two really big tests uh, ahead if you've enjoyed the video please like uh, comment your thoughts on the game whatever they may be and uh, if you don't already please subscribe thanks for watching